for pupils, this is Teacher Charmaine Arevalo from Sumalo Integrated School. I know you are so excited to learn, so let's get started! I am so glad to share another interesting topic in Mathematics 4, so make sure that you have your learning tools with you. Get your paper and pen for taking down notes. Use the comment section below if you have any question about my discussion. We are now in quarter 4, week 2, in mathematics, and our topic for today is about solving routine and non-routine problem involving plain figures. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving the area of square, rectangle, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoid. Before we start with our lesson, let's have a review. Look at the board. Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write only the letter of your answer. Okay. So, I want you to comment down below your answer to this following questions. Number one. The length of a rectangle is twice its width. Its area is 72 square meters. What is its length in meters? A. 6 meter. B. 12 meter. C. 18 meter. Or D. 36 meter. What's your answer? Mm -hmm. Correct! The answer is B. 12 meter. Number 2. A parallelogram shaped parking lot has a base of 26 meters and a height of 22 or 20 meters. Find its area. A. 92 square meter. B. 520 meter. C. 520 square meter. Or D. 620 meters. What's the answer? Perfect. The answer is C. 520 square meter. Number 3. A rectangular window has a length of 160 centimeter and width of 120 centimeter. What is the area of the window? A. 560 centimeter. B. 560 square centimeter. C. 19,200 centimeter. Or D. 19,200 square centimeter. So what's the answer? Okay, the answer is D. 19,200 square centimeter. Number 4. Shane bought a rice field that has a shape of trapezoid. Its bases are 250 meters and 330 meters. The distance between the bases is 170, 170 meters. What is the area of the rice field? A. 43,900 square meter. B. 49,300 square meter. C. 49,900 square meter. Or D. 49,930 square meter. So what's the answer? Comment down below. Okay. The correct answer is B. 49,300 Number 5. A rectangular flower garden has an area of 300 square meters and a perimeter of 80 meters. What are the length and width of the garden? A. 6 meter and 5 meter. B. 30 meter and 10 meter. C. 30 meter and 20 meter. D. 40 meter and 10 meter. What's the answer? That is correct. The answer is B, 30 meter and 10 meter. So we're done with our review. Now, let us start with our discussion. Before we start, let us define the following. First, what is a routine problem? 
A routine problem involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operations or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature. How about a non-routine problem? A non-routine problem requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. These problems can be solved in multiple ways with a variety of strategies. Okay, so I'm going to show you some figures and I want you to find the area. Look at the board. This is a rectangle. The length is 8 cm and the width is 4 cm. So what is the area of a rectangle? To compute the area of a rectangle, we should multiply the length and The formula is area is equal to length times width. So what's the answer? Comment down below. Perfect. So the answer is 32 square centimeters. This it's a trapezoid. That is base 1. And that is base 2. The height is 6 cm. So, what is the area of the trapezoid? So, here's the formula. Area is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 5. So, what's the answer? Comment down below. Okay, that is correct. The answer is 60 square centimeters. So that's it for our review. Let's now proceed to our discussion. Okay, so we have here the first problem. I'm going to read it. The Sandus family has a trapezoidal garden. Its base is measure 25 meters and 23 meters. Meters. If the distance between the side is 30 meters, what is the area of the garden? Okay, so let's figure it out. Okay, so to analyze and solve the given problem, you can use these steps. A. Understand. We okay, know what is asked for the problem. We need to find the area of a trapezoidal garden. So, that is S in the problem. So, find the necessary information. That is B, step 2. The given facts are base 1 is equal to 25 meters, base 2 is 20, 23 meters, height is 30. So, next is plan. Okay. Next step is determine the operation or formula to use. So, based on the problem, what are the formula to use or the operation to be used? Addition, multiplication, and division. So, here's the formula. Area is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 multiplied by height. Okay, next step, solve. Okay, I'm going to show the solution using the formula. Area is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 multiplied by height. Okay, so let's show the solution. Okay, using the formula. Area is equal to 25 meters plus 23 divided by 2 multiplied by 30. Okay, so... Area is equal to 48 divided by 2 multiplied by 30. Okay, so the answer will be area is equal to 24 multiplied by 30. So, I guess you know the answer. Okay, so area is equal to 24 multiplied, multiplied by 30. The area is 720 square Okay, so check on the back, right? The correct answer, the area of the garden is 
72 or 720 square meters. So let's proceed to the next problem, or problem number two. Okay, Joel has square lot with a side length of 20 meters. He has square garden in the center with a length of 5 meters. What is the area of the lot not occupied by the square garden? Okay, so look at the picture. Okay, you can see the drawing of the problem. Okay, so let us solve this problem. Okay, help me solve it. Okay, so let's follow the step or the steps. First, A, understand, know what is asked for in the problem. So we need to find the area of the lot not occupied by the square garden. Next is, find the necessary information. So what are the given facts? Okay, these are the given facts. 20 meters equals the length of the square lot. 5 meters equals the length of the square garden. Next is, plan. Determine the operation or formula to use. Draw a figure to help you. Okay, so first multiplication and subtraction. The formula is area of the square is equal to length times b. So area not occupied by square garden is equal to the area of the square dot minus area of square garden. So know the hidden question or the hidden questions. What is the area of the square dot? And what is the area of the square garden? So you can see uh, the picture here. So we draw a figure to help us solve the problem. Next step is solve. Show the solution using the formula. Area of the square dot. Area is equals length times speed. So area is equals to 20 meters multiplied by 20 meters. So the area is 400 square meters. So next, area of the square garden. So area is equals length times speed. So 5 meters multiplied by 5 meters. The answer is, or the area is, 25 square meters. So, let's do it. Okay, let's solve the following. So, 400 square meters. Okay, we'll subtract it to 25 square meters. The answer is 375 square meters. Okay, so let's check and look back. Okay, see if your answer makes sense. So let's write the complete answer on the comment section below. So the area of the lot not occupied by the square garden is 375 square meters. Now let us proceed to our activity for today. I'm going to show you a problem and you're going to help me solve it. Okay. Cedric's triangular garden, which has a base of 12 meters and a height of 8, me 8 meters, is planted with pechai. What is the area of the garden planted with pechai? So let's solve it using the four steps. First, understand. Know what is asked for in the problem. So what is asked? We have to find the area of the garden planted with pechai. <laughs> know the given facts. What are the given facts? Base is equal to 12 meters and height is equal to 8 meters. Okay. Next is plan. We have to determine the operation and formula to use. So what are the operations to be used? Okay, multiplication and division. The formula is area is equal to base times height divided by 2. Okay, 
Okay, let's solve it. Okay, so let's solve it using the formula area is equal to base times height divided by 2. So what is the area? Okay, first we need to find the base which is 12 meters. Multiply by 8 meters which is the height. That's the answer. Okay, 96, right? So divide by 2. Area equals to 96 divided by 2 is the answer. Okay, you got it right. Area is equal to 48 square meters. Okay, so that's it for our activity. Okay, so what have you learned from this lesson? Okay, so I have here a box and a word to just wrong. Just the best word above to fill in the blanks of the definition below. Okay, first. It requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. That's the answer. Perfect. Non-routine problem. Next. It involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operations or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature. So what's the answer? Okay, that's correct. The answer is routine problem. Next, how many steps are there to solving routine and non-routine problems? How many steps? Great, we have four steps. It is the first step in solving word problems. What is the first step? Okay, correct. Understand. And last, it is the last step in solving problems where you review and reject your answer. Perfect. Check and look back. Okay, thank you so much. You answered all the questions correctly. So for your home learning task on page 39 and page 40 of your self-learning module, I'm going to show it on the screen. Okay, you're going to answer it on your paper and it will be submitted next week. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you and bye-bye.